Welcome back to HodgePodge. Today I am in the practice space of West Berlin, an upstate New York based band. Uh, how long have you guys been together? We have been together about a year and a half. As this lineup or in, in total? Um, okay, we've, in total. we've actually <laughs> only had, we've only had one lineup change. Tim's the newest member, but the guy he replaced only played two shows with us, so... Yeah, we've pretty much been this lineup the entire time. That's pretty good. That's that's better than most bands. Uh, could you all introduce yourself, by the way? Maybe we could go this way. I'm Jordan. I play drums. I'm Evan, and I play guitar and do a bit of vocals. I'm Tim. I play bass and half a vocalist. I'm Jesse. I do vocals. I'm Chris, and I play guitar and used to do vocals. <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions that's killing me and perhaps the audience is, where did the name West Berlin come from? Okay, so <laughs> we the original name of the band was actually supposed to be Sinners, and we decided after the like second practice that that name was not gonna work for us. So we argued for like a month over it. Every our group chat every single day was basically just us fighting over the band name, and I had I, I was like a history buff growing up. And during the Cold War, um, Russia controlled East Germany, and they controlled, you know, East Berlin. Everyone knows the story about the Berlin Wall and everything. And while East Berlin was, like, the really dark, like, gloomy communist side, West Berlin became, like, this center for, like, art, free thinking, you know, like, you know, basically just, you know, live life for yourself and, like... Uh, so as a result, like, I was like, that's kind of like what the image of this band is, you know, like, it's just free mind, open spirit, and that's <laughs> basically, <laughs> that is uh, basically, you know, our attitude, you know, like, that's the theme of most of our music, you know, mm -hmm. like, just figuring out who you are as a person. Gotcha. That's a good message. Uh, who exactly founded the band, and how did it uh, all start out? Um, <laughs> I guess it's me. Uh, one time, it was probably like, what, two years ago? It was March of 2015. Yeah. yeah. Um, I ran into Jesse, hadn't seen him in a while, at a party, believe it or not. And um, I just went up to him like we were both hammered. And I said, dude, wouldn't it be funny if we started a band again? Yeah. Because we had recently been in another band before that. So, um, and then we found Jordan. Or I knew Jordan before. I was in a band with him as well. Oh, and Chris has been in, in a band, every band in, in a band with every in a prior band with everyone in this band. Wow. But yeah, so yeah. he's a veteran. Um, <laughs> so me, Jesse, and Jordan just started jamming for a while, and then we needed a second guitarist, and I was in a band with Evan already. So I hit him up, and that was pretty much it. And then we had a. A bassist before Tim, but like we said earlier, it kind of doesn't really count. So, mm -hmm. now it's an abandoned Tim. <laughs> <laughs> what is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to you in, on a gig or at a concert? Yeah, you go. <laughs> no, no. We, we all have an answer for that. <laughs> in my opinion... We took a trip down to Long Island this past summer, and there's a lot of things that happened on that day. So we'll, we'll say the Long Island trip in general was the weirdest thing we've ever done. But on that specific trip, Tim got hit by a man on a bicycle. <laughs> and that was probably the best thing I've ever witnessed with my own eyes. It was on a sidewalk. <laughs> wow. Why is he riding on the sidewalk? We were asking the same. <laughs> we, are, we were literally walking out of a pizza shop. And, yeah, we saw this guy and, like, normally, like, here in upstate, like if you're on a bicycle and you're on the sidewalk and you see someone walking, you go on the street and go around them. No, this guy literally hit him head on. Uh, like we were all too shocked to like know what to do. Like Tim, it took him like two seconds before I, he finally I, went like. I didn't even yeah. see him. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Yeah, man. Just... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he goes, did you just hit me? And the guy's like, oh, sorry. And then he like rides away and we're like. What <laughs> just <laughs> happened? And his life flashed before his eyes. <laughs> what, what about, the, what's the other stories? Uh, well, while we were walking, there was also, they, people didn't know how to drive, and, like, someone was, like, parked 
in the middle of the street talking to like one of his friends. Oh my god! And this lady <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 same, same stretch, <laughs> same stretch of road and everything. And like this lady is like behind him. She like yells something out her window, and he she, he, he, he yells out his window. He's like. He says something I'm not going to repeat on HodgePodge, but he said that, and then he's like, I ought to run you over! And he's just, like, yelling at this woman in public, like, broad daylight, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're all just like, hmm, okay. (laughs) This is legit. Let me hear your best Long Island accent. My lady, get out of the way! (laughs) We do this thing, actually, when we're on the road, where we, we, whenever we get cut off in traffic, because we did a fair amount of cutting people off in traffic, Uh. and we would catch this, like, out the window, people in in the northeast United States will drop this, and they'll, like, yell (laughs) Italian shit at you as they, like, wave this guy at you. So, So we've been dropping, like, we don't know what you're supposed to say, but we've just been kind of being like, Arrivederci! (laughs) It's just, like, weird stuff. It was kind of like the family guy thing. Like, literally, someone would cut us off, and everyone in the car would literally just go, Yeah. I think we Shout out to I Dreamt the Sea, your <laughs> buddies from Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only people I like from Long Island besides Luis Navas. Yeah, I hope that's yeah. how you pronounce his name because yeah. he's definitely gonna watch this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he will. Um, and then as far like Long Island was a that was like our first. We were like not even close to Syracuse like that. We were super far mm-hmm. away from home like that was like our first experience like being out on the road like that. So. It was definitely an adventure. Mm-hmm. We, we we all had fun. We slept on a beach. We slept on a beach. We did. We ate the yeah. best pizza of our lives. We slept on a beach. We got called homeless by police because we were on the beach too early. Pretty sure we almost got our van towed. And then Tim got hit by a bike. A flock all of seagulls in like the tried same to eat hours. So yeah. yeah. We fought off of a whole flock of seagulls. Yeah. They were I, I vicious. Like, I found this like sand pit to sleep in. And I actually ended up dozing off. And I wake up like 45 minutes later, and it's just a circle of seagulls surrounding me. <laughs> oh, Sorry God. So, so you have an album out at the moment. What's the title of the album? Um, an EP. <laughs> yeah, it's an EP. It's uh, Northern Misery. Okay. Northern Misery. How many songs have you written to date? We have nine recorded. Nine. The nine. actual amount of written songs is kind of a secret at this point. Because yeah. we're... we're we released the Northern Misery like last March. Yeah, mm-hmm. March of 2016. Yeah. Oh, this March I should say. So, um, that came out, and then like a couple weeks after, our bassist quit on us, and we picked up Tim, and we were like, okay, we got to show people we can still write music or whatever. So we came out with a new a new song called Age in August, July. September, July. yeah, somewhere July. somewhere in the yep. summer, and then. Uh, just recently, like two, three weeks ago, we came out with another single called 104. And all of that's recorded on, and it's on Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. And you that's what you played today for the crowd? Um, yeah, we played mostly songs that we've already recorded. There's one. Yeah. There's this. one song that we played for you called Black Orphan that's going to be on the uh, upcoming album. Yep. All coming right. sometime in 2017. Yeah. Sometime in 2017. So <laughs> some check point. it out. So recently you came out with a split EP with the band Bottom Fed. Can you tell me a little bit about that and how that all was founded? Well, we actually met Bottom Fed at that show in Long Island. Uh, okay. We, They were just one of those bands we just immediately clicked with them. Like all the guys really vibed with each other really well. And then we played another show with them in Massachusetts. And Tom, their vocalist, approached Evan and I about doing a potential split with them. And that was why we ended up releasing 104. That was recorded for that split. And you can find that split on our band camp, actually. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. They're, they're like our, they're our buddy band. Nice. They're, yeah. How did that work out? Did they, did you both write the song or did you kind of... Yeah, we... Like um, hodgepodge? Tom, <laughs> <laughs> Everything? <laughs> uh, Tom actually uh, had told me right off the bat that the... the Split was going to get premiered on Metal Insider, and uh, so he had me do, like, a little write-up about what my song was about and, you know, what the mm-hmm. lyrics meant and everything, and uh, for them, they recorded it themselves with their own producer, and then we recorded it with Tim, and we just 
sent the songs to each other, made sure everything sounded fine, and then um, we just went from there. Set a release date and put it out. Cool. Are you looking to do more collaborations with other bands? Or? At this point, um, I mean, if someone hit us up about it, we would probably just write a song and put it out for the fun of it, uh, just to get exposure. It helps. Like, a lot of people saw West Berlin for the first time through, like, a tweet that Bottom Fed tweeted the day our thing came out, uh, our split EP. They were like, hey, check out our buddies in West Berlin and the split we did, and we got a ton of new listeners through that. So it helps us out with marketing as well as it's cool to build relationships with other bands kind of solidifies some opportunities for like touring in the future because if you've heard of us you've probably heard of bottom fed also so if we're both coming through your town you probably want to come check it out definitely and so we were talking a little earlier and you were saying you're really focusing on your next album right now uh coming out in 2017 uh but is there an end goal is there really somewhere you'd like to see yourself by june of 2017 or touring or our goal right now is to buy a van by February and have the album written by the same time. So February of 2017. Right. And um, hopefully have some tour dates set in stone by then for the end of March and April, maybe into May. And then we will release the album after we do a little touring to promote it. We'll end up setting a date. And uh, after the album comes out, it's kind of hit or miss. Like if people like it, we'll be on the road quite a bit. If people don't like it, we're probably going to break up and <laughs> <laughs> just quit being musicians because that, that's what you do at that point, I think. <laughs> so help these guys out. Leave a like, and if you really like them, check them out at their all their social media links, their Facebook, their website will all be linked in the video description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, leave, leave a, a like, like, check, check out, out the other videos, videos and, and subscribe. subscribe.